if I'm trusty for life, um, I'm here again. I'm always here to give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Well, we have one or two things to tell you guys and to share with you guys today concerning what is happening in the camp. Chelsea is out of the Champions League, but we are still in the Champions League. I know you ask how. I'm still going to tell you people that one. And also, some players will be leaving Chelsea this season, ending of this season. Some players will be leaving because they are having a lot of doubt about their future. And those are the players I think they are causing all this problem. And also, Luis Erique has fallen from the list of people that list of potential coach that we are hoping that Chelsea might sign. But so far, so good. Negus man is stopping the race. But before I proceed towards everything I want to talk about, please kindly like this video, share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. But before I proceed, I want to say something. There is something I noticed of recent about some Chelsea fans. See, eh? if you are a Chelsea follower, it's different from being a Chelsea fan. Do you understand? If you are a follower, you only follow them based on their current situation. You follow them when they are only winning. That is when you follow them. You say, I'm a Chelsea fan. You don't, if you are a fan, you will follow us now that the situation is like this. Do you understand? I have some fans on the WhatsApp group and also some platform which I don't say, on my quit, I leave, I this. I'm no longer supporting again. They are not doing well. They are not this. They are not that. Or more, that is one thing I, I use to respect Arsenal fans. No matter how Arsenal is bad, eh? Arsenal fans, they remain Arsenal fans. They will not go anywhere. If they like, like Arsenal, remain 20th, they will follow Arsenal to that place. That is one thing about Arsenal fans. Do you understand? So, Chelsea fans, make them maintain. They wear your day. You understand? If bad this season, don't me say go bad next season because a lot of correction is going to be made for it to be good next season for us. You understand? So, day where you day, respect, support. We go down, we follow them, go down. We go up, follow them, go up. That's where they be. You understand? One love and all Chelsea for life. All right. Um, I made a statement concerning Chelsea is out of the Champions League, but we are still in the Champions League. It means. The main team is out of the Champions League, but the female team are still in the Champions League. They are to play Barcelona this Saturday at Stamford Bridge. So far, so good. 25,000 uh, uh, this thing tickets has been sold out already. 25,000 people will be watching the Chelsea female team play Barcelona this Saturday. Me, I will be watching that game online. I'll be watching it online this Saturday. In case of, for those of you that will request for the link, if you are on the WhatsApp group, I'll drop the link on that Saturday so that I can watch the match because I'll also drop analysis concerning the, after the game. Hopefully, they are, they are the only hope right now in the FA Champions League. Since the men don't come out now, more they will watch the female team. You understand? Like I told you people, this channel is all about Chelsea. Whether from junior team or whether female team or it's not all about the men team only. You understand? We also give you updates that concern some backroom staff and their issues around. You get me? So we'll be watching the female team play Barcelona this Saturday against um and at Stamford Bridge. You understand? Okay, um, let's go. The first one I want to read here is from Simon Philip. Atletico Madrid feared that Chelsea will send Jao Felix back without any interest in signing him. His performance are concerning. Atletic would be more than happy for a fee of around 18 million euros for Felix. Well, I, I made a statement here the other day. I said that this Jao Felix, with the look of things, eh? I don't think Chelsea will sign this guy again, no. Because after all, they have they have done a lot of checkmating. Since when you come, check his, his, his work rates in Chelsea. Go and check his work rates. It's not that effective. I know everybody is poor in the team. The team is not active. So he cannot get his best. But even at that, too. Even at that. At least try, try the show face. 
he needed to only the first the only day i enjoyed felix was only that first day he played against fulham that it got got a red card that was the first day i enjoyed him more apart from that day the rest of his football he's he's he plays more of selfish football more of myself 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 he doesn't think about the next man so when i noticed that kind of football i say well this guy can't play in chelsea oh. Even though you can't score the goal, at least give it to people that can score the goal. Create the chance and give it to people that can score the goal for you. You understand? Since that is what you are lacking in Chelsea. You get me? So that is it. Then, with, with this information I've read right now, <laughs> I don't think Chelsea will sign that guy again because they will just have to let him go back to Atlantico because, after all, Christopher Nkunku will be coming. Christopher Nkunku will be coming. The likes of uh, Lewis uh, Kawi, Lewis Kawi will be coming back. Malugesto will be coming. So you see, so as for that position, let him just go back to Atletico. Let us work with Christopher Nkunku and buy a good, a good number nine, a good striker. Which so far so good. Everybody has been speculating. Chris, uh, Victor Simen, Victor Simen. They want Victor Simen, but for me, I will still be saying it. Since now my Nigerian brother, I will still be saying it. I would prefer Victor Simen to go to somewhere like Bayern Munich. If Bayern Munich had to pick interest towards that guy, he should go somewhere like Bayern Munich. There's no much competition there. At least, uh, if he goes to Bayern Munich, he has a more, he he will has he will have more playing time. And media no go to the over talk for him matter like that, and he will be banging goals. You understand? But if he comes to Chelsea, what if that person, even though Kuku can no can they do that work we expect them to do? Go they give him that pass to the bang goals, and even no can they cut see goals. You will see English press go start the cast them online. You understand? So me, I would prefer he should go to another place. You understand? After all, Ivan Tony did too. Ivan Tony did. Sometimes we should just leave the big big names. There are some good good players that they just need to come. The scouts didn't even need to just come down and scout for them. Good good players. See this guy uh, from Brazil. This boy that Chelsea signed. Andre Santos, that boy will be coming back this the ending of this season. And that boy is good. He's a very young, talented midfielder. He's good. Who we'll know him? Not be when Chelsea go for an hour, we'll they go check him profile, dig him out, come know him. Nobody knows him like that. Those are the kind of player I'm talking about. You don't just go for names. All the names who don't buy put for Chelsea this season. How many of them don't perform? How many? How many? Now so we'll rush. Uh, Mudrak, Mudrak, Rush, go hijack and from us. I'm not saying that they will not play football when the time comes. They will play. But this is him. We should just reduce the number of names that we are going for and go for people that knows how to play football. Do you understand? We should reduce the number of names and go for people that know, knows how to play football. That's the most important thing. It's not about names. Uh -huh. Next on my list. Some Chelsea players reportedly increasingly unhappy about the direction the club is heading and a disastrous season has left a number of squad members privately questioning their future. Or more, they should question their future. And Chelsea should do something about their future by letting them go. If they know that they cannot play for the team again, if they know that they cannot, they cannot fight for the team, they should go. Any player that is not ready to play for Chelsea because of the level the club is right now, next, the ending of this season, please, he should pack and his things and go. He should terminate his contract and go. So that we know the ones that is with us and the ones that are against us. It's called they are not on, they are unhappy. What, what's our business? After you will be on the pitch, perform rubbish, play rubbish, people cannot score go. And people are unhappy. If, they, if you are not unhappy, go. And leave the ones that are happy, that are ready to fight for the team. They should stay and fight. Do you understand? So me, since all these Chelsea player, they are they are matter don't tire, they are matter don't tire me. I'm not just happy with them at all. Julian's next man reportedly has significant support with Chelsea hierarchy, having had face to face talk last week with further talk expected. Well, there was rumors flying. That was two week, two days ago. I mean yesterday that um. Chelsea are not okay with Luis Enrique. You understand that they pre it's, it's like they, pre they prefer Julian Legesman to Enrique. 
he gets me so so far so good it's not something that we should be speculating about again because we know that it's next man that they will sign last last and the next man will go land on you understand my next man will go land on i know that next man and uh, next man has coach christopher Kuku before when he was in arobi livesey so it's not going to be a bad bad one meeting your former boss you understand in a new club it's not going to be bad so let's just see how the team the situation will go and also i'll be coming back again to give you other situation reports on what is happening in the club and if, for those of you that would love to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with me please chat me up on the whatsapp number on the screen there chat me up don't chat me and be start asking me what's the update don't ask me that tell me that you are interested in one-on-one -on -one of the chats then i will connect you then we'll do both of us will discuss on what is happening in chelsea so guys that will be all for now do it to like the video share and most importantly subscribe to this channel because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone thank you very much